Here we go for the y'all. We have today Strange Fruit and the Beatles. Give it up for them. And then there's there's me. <laughs> so a little bit of background, like why is this skinny white guy on the stage and you have any instruments? <laughs> what are you trying to do? Um, I'm a professional actor and YouTube personality for multiple different uh, companies, so I enjoy performing. It's a fun little thing to do. Um, I write original songs um, and compose them as well. I'll be performing a couple of those as well. Um, I'm gonna do a little little comedy spiel for you. So who's here? Who's here is actually from Rexburg? Oh, I can't see you guys, the lights are low and my glasses are off, but I am uh, trust you. Okay. So, BYU Idaho, who's a, who's a student in BYU Idaho? Yeah! So I had a couple older siblings who went to BYU Idaho. Um, and there's there's two kinds of people to go to BYU Idaho. The ones who are like, the spirit led me here. This is the Lord's University and I love it. Oh my. And that's great. And you got the kind of people who were like, this place sucks. Yes! <laughs> what are doing here? There's nothing, nothing new in Idaho. You can drive like 40 minutes just to get the nearest target. <laughs> no, not good, but I uh, I'm the big family. So I had two, two siblings went to Provo, two siblings went to BYU Idaho. Um, I have um, nine siblings. People are like, nine siblings, so. Is there ten of you? <laughs> yeah, they, this guy can do mad. <laughs> so, uh, and they're, they're from the same parents. I get asked that all the time. Like, ten is a lot, yeah, but it's not like unbiologically possible. I mean, I know some people with like 13 kids and they like homeschooled them all. <laughs> That's pretty wild. <laughs> And you know, they, they love each other, like, it's a good marriage, they all come, came from the same parents and everything. Um, but you know, your parents will like kiss in the kitchen just to screw with you. Because they know, you're like, ew, mom and dad, stop. My sister once, she was like, she was like, hey dad, can I see this movie? It was like an older person movie, and he's like, it's got adult romance in it. She's like, I see adult romance every day! <laughs> she ended up getting to see the movie. <laughs> and then, so, there's a pretty big age gap. There's, there's two years between all of us. Um, wow. So the oldest is, is 28. The youngest is 8. Um, my dad once, he said, I said, I wonder if there's, there's going to be a Sunday where all my kids are here at church with me. And I'm like, yes, Dad, at your funeral. <laughs> and then there's my mom. Don't worry, my, my comedy sequence isn't going to be going down through my family members, although that would be hilarious. <laughs> but looks aren't everything. <laughs> but um, my mom is fantastic. Shopping for ten kids. That is, that is a, that's a wild thing. And, so, oh, and by the way, guys, I have like... I go on crazy tangents. That's why I got my little notes up here. Like, it's gonna get, it's gonna get wild. So if I don't look at my notes, then you should be worried because I'm going way off. We don't even know when that's gonna end. But yeah, my mom would like go shopping. You're going, going shopping with your mom and your kid. That's, that's the best. You know, like when you're eight and you have nothing better to do and you don't have a smartphone because you grew up in like the early 2000s. And yes. You know, technology. You know, you'd be like playing with rocks. <laughs> and be like, kids, we're going to the store. What's a store? <laughs> it's crazy. But then she, she, she gets things on sale all the time. And then she, um, she'll make all sorts of weird things. Because my mom makes everything. We grind our own wheat. Yep. You know, I come from a homeschool family, actually. <laughs> um, so I was joking about it earlier, like, homeschoolers, oh man. <laughs> oh boy, we're a, we're a good bunch. No, um. But if you tell people that you're homeschooled, and then like, you know, you, you tell them something about their life, they'll believe you no matter what you say. <laughs> it's wild. So, so I asked, Stuart, what's the hardest thing about being homeschooled? I'm like, yeah, we have to get up and milk the chickens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, oh. You can milk chickens? <laughs> you don't want to know how you do it. It's, no. it's hard. It's like almost as hard as milking the almonds. 
how all I know these names? You know me. <laughs> it's, it's pretty wild. But then, then, you know, my mom, like, she makes all her own food. She, she'll be like, Stuart, I made some broccoli spinach squid knuckle surprise delight. <laughs> my mom, I'm not delighted. <laughs> it does not sound good. Oh man, and then what, you know, like going go to the grocery store to shop with her when she's getting these things on scale, like sell like squid knuckles. If, if squid knuckles were a thing and you could buy them and they were on sale, my mom would buy like 30 jars. <laughs> I swear, we have so much food in our pantry that just goes bad because she bought like a freaking hoard of it. And she's like, it was on sale. You have to take advantage of this deal, Stuart. That's how I need you. <laughs> okay, mom, well, sorry, I'll eat my squid knuckles. <laughs> I remember mean, me and my brother once were sitting in the car waiting for her um, to finish shopping. And you know, she was getting a, a buy two, get three free cheese deal. And that's like, that's a freaking holiday for my mom. Anybody in the family with a license, you know, and he was able to drive a car with free, you know, any, any free time in the afternoon, like, we, we all, all know about it. And she like put up this streamer or shaped like cheese, you know. <laughs> And then, you know, I'm like on my way to a date and I get the cheese and like my date gets in the car and she like looks at the cheese in the back and she's like, what the heck? <laughs> I'm like, don't, don't ask me. <laughs> but me and my brother were waiting in the car for her once. You know, it usually takes like five minutes for her to come back and she's like, has all the groceries. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we waited five minutes and she didn't come. You know, ten minutes and we're, we're starting where we're gonna suffocate, you know, because she took the keys and we're like, this is child abuse, even though, you know, she was like, he was 12 and I was 8 at the time. But anyway, so then she comes back 30 minutes later. I'm like, what the flip? <laughs> Mom, are you okay? Like, did you die? She's like, the oranges were on sale. As if it was the most obvious thing in the world. Like, oh, yeah, okay, Mom, the oranges were on sale. Me and my brother would tease each other about that, you know, like, Stuart, what's taking you so long to the bathroom? The oranges are on sale, I think. <laughs> Whatever that means. Stuart, why'd you, why'd you come back late from her date? The oranges were... No, that... <laughs> <laughs> this is a family show, I'm not gonna go there. Sorry. This is why I have this script here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but yeah, I don't need... Keep the... Keep the spirit! Oh, but I, the other nice thing about, about um, being a big family is, is when, you, when you're a single child, single child, only child, single child, that's me, I'm a single child. I don't have a child. Um, you know, you, your parents, if they call you, you know, you're not the only one there, they'll like wait for you and they'll hone in on you and be like, Stuart, why are you not at dinner yet? I'm like, oh, but when there's ten of you, she just kind of calls, kids, there's dinner, and we're like, coming, we're on our way. <laughs> you know, you're like in your squashy computer chair, you know, playing like multiplayer games on the computer because that's where it's at. You didn't have an Xbox or a Wii or whatever because you were not poor, but not like. Crazy rich, I mean, yeah, squid knuckles to buy. <laughs> the oranges, goodness gracious. Anyway, I've got a song um, called On My Way, and it's, it's not a comedy song, which is unfortunate because I enjoy funny things more, but I wrote it and I produced the instrumental, so I'd like to sing it for you if you wouldn't mind. Yeah! yeah. Adventure, excitement, independence and thrill Many won't survive, but I got a feeling that I will And I don't know just where I'll go But anywhere is out and anywhere is free Never looking back, no world on my shoulders Can't backtrack, no raindrops on my skin Mean nothing to me Woo! Woo! And I 
I said that I'm going through a problem, flying over the flip flops, seeing how to solve them. Watch out, everybody, I'm on a living spree. And I got this feeling now that I'm on my own. The world is down and rattling for me. And I love this feeling now that I'm on my way. Through that happy rain I see. Testing, testing, one, two, three. I wanna know if the whole world can hear me. Testing, testing, one, two, three. just based on that. <laughs> yeah, it was a joke. It was a joke. Oh my god. Why am I even at college? <laughs> I don't deserve to be here. No, but, but you know, I, I was naive about some things. I'm smarter now. <laughs> um, but some things I just didn't experience. Because I was homeschooled all the way from diapers to my first semester of BYU Idaho. Oh, poor And <laughs> You are homeschool? You don't seem homeschool. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I get that all the time. It's true, but you can talk to people. You have social. <laughs> <laughs> I tend to look at a lot of people talk to. <laughs> wow. You're the weirdest thing for my siblings, you know, because we're all home a little bit more than often, you know, or more than usual. So, so we, we get a, you know, we, we overhear each other a lot. I was driving one, one time with my brother and my mom. He didn't have his license yet at the time, you know. And he's like, Mom, we're late. Can't you speed? And she's like, what do you think I'm doing? It's <laughs> like, Mom, I'm good with that. <laughs> speed, OK, OK. So once, I just got my license, right? I was like, 16, or whatever. Maybe I was like, nah, I'm not 16. And, and it was Sunday. And when I, when I got my license, I was a really careful driver. Like a little grandma driver. <laughs> <laughs> Stopping like 20 feet by the girl. Because I was paralyzed of police. Oh my gosh. I've been in the car when like my mom gets pulled over. She's listening to her homeschool things. Like the lady's like, we're gonna learn about the learning and the core phase. And like she's like driving, yeah! To that. And then she speaks and she gets pulled over sometimes. So she's human, you know what happened. But I thought, oh. You know, I, I was raised Mormon. Um, I, I, I still am Mormon. This isn't like a, a church kind of thing. But <laughs> I, I was like, I was driving somewhere. I dropped my brother off a choir. You know, and he, I was thinking, wait a second. I'm not going to get pulled over. It's Sunday. Oh, goodness. Oh, I just found the loophole. <laughs> I thought I was, like, I thought I was the smartest, smartest kid alive, and in truth, I was, it was opposite. So, when the police, you know, asks me to roll down my window, 
five minutes later, after I'm doing 80 and a 45, he's like, he's like, do you know why I pulled you over? I'm like, no, it's Sunday. He's <laughs> like, kid, you got a lot to learn. I'm like, I'm homeschooled. <laughs> <laughs> We're overhearing my, my siblings say other things. I get you hear some deep questions, you know, when you don't go to school, you have a lot to think about. Like, why do sneezes propel you forward? Think about that for two seconds. <laughs> In the cartoon, you know, you're, you're, you're blowing air out, and so you should like fly back. You like go forward when you sneeze. And it's like, you know, mom's like, write a paper on it. <laughs> like, mom, I got pulled over today. Write a paper on it. I'm really educational. My brother Benjamin, he's a little guy. He's so crazy stupid. Like, he has like an Einstein head. You know? Like, he's, he's crazy. He was two years old. We, we drove past a graveyard, right? And he's like, Mom, Dad, what are those? And you know, they probably understand that. Yeah, he's playing with two. And, and he's like, he's like, you know, Anne, my little sister. Anne, what are those? And she's like, well, those are tombstones. What are, what do they mean? Well, they're, they're, they're what marks when people die. And it's like, who put them there? <laughs> it's like, you know, his sister said, well, the grave digger, you know, he, he puts them there. And he sits there and says, and if the grave digger dies, who buries him? <laughs> and I'm in the back seat and so, like, you are too. <laughs> What's going on? Other deep questions, who actually wants to date a skinny guy? <laughs> Cuddling me with me is like snuggling up to a pillowcase full of TV remotes. <laughs> That's what it feels like. A lot of my talent, like I told you, I'm an actor, a, a, a video producer, music producer, whatever. A lot of my activities aren't super physical. And so when I have three hours, I don't pound the gym. <laughs> like Brock, you know? That's a gym name, right? <laughs> Brock or Chad. You know, Chad. It's tank tops. I go to the sporty, because I'm an arts major, I'm one of those guys. Kind of, yeah. I'm one of those weird arts majors and music majors. Oh, so cool. No, I did it. <laughs> I'm not too great because I'm not dating her anymore. <laughs> I, mean, I walk past the, you know, the entrance of the heart gym all the time. You have those guys walking out of there. They're like, their arms like three times wider than they actually are. Like, oh, my lats are so sore. <laughs> you hear them like over talking, like really loud, like. Hey Brock, how many bench push presses can you do? He's like, I did like 20,000 pounds. He's like, oh, me too. But I could have done more because my biceps were so sore already from yesterday's workout. <laughs> Guys are ridiculous. The girls are a whole much better. You, know, you see those girls go to the gym in a full face of makeup. Mm -hmm. Like, you are not there for the gym. <laughs> you are there for gym. <laughs> my, my dog. Oh, man. And then also when I'm walking in class, after I walk past like the, the freaking sweaty Chad and Brock and, I don't know, Mackenzie, in yes. full face of makeup, <laughs> I could also do a whole nother comedy routine on the spelling of Mormon names. Oh my gosh. Like, you think there's one way to spell Emily. Oh, I know ten Emilys. Seven of them are spelled differently. And they're like, numbers don't go with your name. It's like, it's three syllables, but you put like 18 letters in that. I don't understand. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the main difference between guys and girls can be summed up in, you know, a couple sentences. Girls are like, my eyes are up here. And guys are like, my biceps are down here. I spent three hours today with Chad at the gym. And I missed out on the oranges that were on sale. 
faces must be real. Oh my gosh. Gyms make you attractive, but they are not attractive themselves. Oh my gosh. Oh, Where the heck was I? I got way here. Oh man. And then you know, of course you have like the super buff dudes who they're like, you know, they think they get all the girls, but the girls look at them like he spends way too much time in the gym. And then you see the, you know, if you're a pretty girl, a guy like guys will like try to ask your number no matter what, because guys do not have a filter. They do not have a radar that says that girl does not want to talk to me. She is has headphones in and is walking in a different direction with her hood up with a sign on her shirt that says do not talk to me and the guys are like I don't care <laughs> and they do it anyway the guys they can look as attractive as they want to you know and the girls are like he's such a jerk a gym bro oh my gosh but, but the guys who are you know like skinnier and don't spend as much time in the gym um, there are a lot of us really salty about dating. It's just because they, they suck. And you know those, you got those roommates who are like, every girl at BYU I know is a lame -o. They all suck. And you're like, you know, that's, that's, that's more of a you thing. <laughs> Everyone thinks, you know, you think everybody's an idiot and you just happen to not be? Like, so, that was an introduction to my next song, which I wrote as a dedicatory there you go, song for all those people who are salty and sour grapes about dating. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Sour grapes. Sour grapes. <laughs> sour orange head. <laughs> Squid knuckle. <laughs> oh, this song is called Maybe Maybe. <laughs> Hold on to your hats, please. This one is a comedy So I'm done with college, maybe got a degree. Computer programming or engineering. And then I went back home, stayed with mom for a while, and then I found a place to stay while I reconcile with my life. But now you're saying get a wife. Dude, does ramen for two sound appealing to you or a dumb kid saying, Can I play with you? No, maybe. I don't want to make a baby. I want to make some stuck up girl, share my house, food, money, and bed. Oh, maybe. I don't want to make a baby. Maybe I just want to make some music instead. Marriage means responsibility. And to be honest, I barely even know what that means. I have a job, a car, maybe a Camry or a pickup, but they won't stab me if I leave the toilet seat up. Also, I or listen to her problems, try to cheer her up, and then deal with her shame because somehow I goofed up. Maybe I don't wanna make a baby. I don't need some stuck-up girl, share my house, food, money, and bed. Time for that matter, just knock it off, maybe. I don't want to make a baby. I don't need some stuck up girls. Share my house, food, money, and bed. Oh, maybe. I don't want to make a baby. Maybe I just want to make some music instead. One more time for good measure, maybe. I don't want to make a baby. I don't need some stuck up girls. Share my house, food, money, and bed. song are not those of Stuart Petty Media, LLC. <laughs> just a, just a thing. Any <laughs> thing of living or dead, you know, that whole life is kind of <laughs> Where's my phone? I'm gonna, I'm gonna start calling. Oh, no. All right. Where are we? Oh, man. No, but, 
Um, I, I, I genuinely am. I think dating, dating is great. I genuinely am excited to like have a family and stuff. One day, I was on a date last night, <laughs> and the girl was like, I just want to be pregnant. I'm like, I could think that happened. <laughs> But we're not, we're not going to. Then we proceeded, <laughs> we proceeded to get locked into my studio for two hours, which was a trip in itself. And I was like, I swear I did not plan this. <laughs> you will wait for that baby, I promise. <laughs> no, but I am. Some girls don't want to date me because I haven't served a mission. I'm turning 20 in a couple months, and I haven't served a mission. And there, there's a whole reason behind that, you know, like a little bit of like anxiety, medical stuff, um, that whole thing. Um, but not going, like, you feel like you're going to be one of those bad example stories they use in general conference. <laughs> Elder, I don't know, whoever, like, there was a man named Stuart Petty, and he chose to pursue his professional career instead of serving mission. And a meteor fell on his house. <laughs> his whole family got polio. <laughs> and then his wife died. And left him. <laughs> and it just, you know, you feel like the rat. But I've got, I've got my family to back me up. So, to close out my little introduction here, um, I have a little list of different things that I've actually heard my family over say. So I just want to relay these to you. My brother's folding laundry with my, my mom. I said, Mom, you fold my pants right with like the fold crease and everything. And she's like, Taylor, what do you think I am, a folding lame-o? <laughs> he's very strong. Like, <laughs> <laughs> my older sister said to my mom, my friend and I want to go shopping, but we have enough clothes and no money. <laughs> First world problems. <laughs> and how do you spell weird? W, I don't know. <laughs> You're homeschooled. Right? <laughs> this is the grossest stick I've ever tasted. <laughs> That's us going to play with sticks. Like I said, oh my gosh. That was one of the worst ones I put in my mouth. <laughs> Nasty. My sister making dinner. I hate boiling water. It's too weird. <laughs> we did not have pasta that night. <laughs> it was my personal favorite. This one's a little more visual, so it's not quite as funny when I describe it, but I'm gonna try. We had this little children's book called The Funny Little Woman. Oh, and my mom, you know, she's at the time, she's over nine months pregnant. And so my dad, my mom's standing right there. My dad isn't even thinking about it. And he's like, the funny little woman is overdue. And my mom's like, you can say that again. <laughs> I'm sure the baby took a while because, you know, when the baby comes out, we'll ask him, what took you so long? And we'll be like, the orange is what I said. 